Coming up, they see beauty in wood and then they bring that beauty out. And she's a graduate of RSU. She's also an author. All this coming up on Perspectives. Hello everyone. Did you know we have about six weeks left until the May 31st adjournment deadline of the state legislature? So, what's been accomplished? Seems like members' hat bands got a little tighter. You know, I've said for years those elected usually can be counted on to do three things. Support things that'll make them look good to their base so they get re-elected, turn their backs on education, and react instead of act. Case in point, it only took them seven years to pass the Real ID Act in Oklahoma. Well, this session with a new governor in charge has been no exception. The difference this time seems to be they've been more civil about it. No real fights or arguments or name calling, which has been usual in the past. Sadly, they also failed again to do anything seriously to promote public education in Oklahoma. I don't know why. Members have to know that new business always looks at education here before they give serious consideration to moving to our state. We have underpaid teachers, overcrowded classrooms, and they're not going to appeal to any outside major operation. Public education is fighting a battle daily just to get by. So where is the legislative support? Other states are hiring our best teachers away every chance they get. And we get substitutes. Well, the children in the legislature, and we got a lot of them, decided enough is enough. They made that decision last week and passed a new law that they say will help. Governor Stitt approved House Bill 1050 that increases the number of days a substitute can work during a school year. That's it? That's all you can come up with to support public education? And you're proud of it? Am I, am I missing something here? Please tell me that you secretly found a source of money to fully support public education. And while you're at it, please tell me you have serious plans in the works to fit, fix the state needs in this area. Please act as though you know what's going on and that you're gearing up to tackle the problems. Oh, please, w wait, wait, wait just a minute. What am I thinking? For a minute there, I thought you folks understood how important public education is to Oklahoma. How silly of me. I forgot you decided it would be okay for Oklahomans to buy and carry guns without training or experience. That goes into effect in November. I guess you thought that would help education. You might want to keep in mind that children are watching as you lead by example. Are you proud of yours? That's my perspective. Coming up, our guests are into wood big time. We'll have more on that right after this.